this problem is about cauchy's functional equation it's a very interesting topic uh in fact there is a whole section of mathematics called functional analysis you can look into it online or in a book maybe this problem is from isi entrance 2010 the math entrance it's just an example of a functional equation problem so what is the given data the given data is this that we have a set of functions a which contains all the functions from real numbers to real numbers such that f of xy is equals to x times f of y so all such functions which has this property whose domain is real numbers and whose codomain is also real numbers and which has this property that f of x times y if you multiply the two input values the output will be x times f of y this is the set of functions that we are working with so what do we want to show so show that f of x plus y is equal to f of x plus f of y this is our goal we want to show that if the function has this this property if the function has this property then it also has this additive property this is sometimes known as additive property uh if you have studied group theory you will know that this is an a typical example of a homomorphism uh of course homomorphism requires the function to have some other things happening we have to define the input group and the output group but nevertheless uh the key property of a homomorphism is this additiveness you add the two input values the output values can be separately added up that's how i remember it i want to show that this function f indeed has this particular property now this is a very simple problem it's not actually hard we will go about it in a in this way so we know that f of xy is equals to x times f of y this is something we know right that this is a common trick or a strategy to solve functional equation problems you try to find particular values of the function sometimes it's really easy to find some values what do i mean by particular values so maybe you want to know that what if the input is zero if x is equal to zero what is the value of the function this is an example of what you can do to start the problem i'm not saying that will be useful for our purpose but just to show you how that is done i'll do it for this particular functional equation so to do this just set x equal to 0 remember this particular equation is true for all real numbers x and y so i can definitely put x equal to 0 doing that i get f of 0 times y is equals to 0 times f of y which is basically saying that f of 0 is 0 so at x equal to 0 at the input value 0 the output of the function is 0 this is an important information for this particular function but nevertheless this particular information will not be very relevant for our purpose in this problem what we will do is this we will set y equals to 1 So if we do that let's look at what's going on here f of x times 
is equals to x times f of 1 right now whatever the function f is it will have a particular output for the input value 1 in other words f of 1 will have some value it's a function from r to r so definitely f of 1 if the input is the number 1 the output will be some constant number for a given function so let's call that constant c whatever what what is c what is the value of c we don't know it will differ from function to function remember we are dealing with all functions from real numbers to real numbers which satisfy this particular functional equation so there are more than one function which has this particular property i mean there might be more than one function which has this particular property so that the value of f of 1 will depend on what function we are working with so for the moment for a given function f let's suppose f of 1 is the number c okay so what do we have here f of x x times times 1 is x is equals to x times the constant f of 1 is c so it's the very simple function f of x is equals to constant times x okay so let's clear up everything now up to now what we have done is this we have this functional equation f of x y equals to x times f of y for a given function f function f f of 1 will be the constant number c then f of x is equals to constant times x we have derived this much okay so let's take another function let's call it f1 x f1 is one of the members of f1 is one of the members of a remember a was the set of all functions so similarly we have f2 x which is some other constant c2 times x so what is c2 c2 is f2 of 1 so when i input 1 in f of 2 it will be another some other constant c2 and that's what we have here okay so we have different types of functions here and in the from the set a and for each function we will have a different constant number which is the value of f of 1 and for that we will have f of x is equal to c times x c is the constant number right now so what do we want to show we want to find out what is f of x plus y well f of x plus y is constant times x plus y which is constant times x plus constant times y now constant times x is f of x and constant times y is f of y so see we have proved the additive property of this particular function the additive property of this function it's quite fantastic now once we have done this we can now make it even better so there is the second part of this problem which says that if g and h okay maybe i can change this h belong to a so there are two such functions which satisfies these properties show that g of h of x is equal to h of g of x this is very easy this part is really easy um, I'll give you a hint suppose h of x is equals to c1 times x and g of x is equal to c2 times x we know that both h and g are in that particular set of functions and will have this particular form now you can use this form to prove this property okay i want to make a comment here uh, this set a 
this set contains a bunch of functions and this equation right here gives you a way to combine the functions this is called function composition so two elements of the set can be combined to make another element of the same set that's what this and and this operation is commutative so you can do first g then h and then you do or you can do first h and then g the output will be the same thing this is a very special case in group theory of course in 11 12 or in lower classes you have not probably studied group theory but in general you should know that this particular problem is derived from a part of abstract algebra called group theory and this particular property says that the elements of this set a can be combined in a certain manner and the output will be the element of the set a so it's closed under that operation of composition and not only that the composition is commutative it's very nice in that sense of course there are we need to do something more to say that it's a group for example we have to define something called inverse of a function an identity function and so on but those are pretty easy uh, in the comment in the uh, in the description why don't you tell me how to prove that this property is true using this hint give me a sort of a proof of this okay you can go to chinta.com for more information uh, and beautiful problems we have an excellent community of teachers and students there doing some very beautiful mathematics uh, let's hope that we can meet each other on the next video where we will learn some more beautiful problems uh, thank you and stay well